Leadership is about going to a destination that others haven't been to yet. And engineering leadership is fundamentally about changing the perspective on a problem. Technology is the driver of change in organizations. And it's the role of technology leadership to anticipate where is that point of inflection and what new direction might we go to continue our progress. Leadership does not have to be the top-down, ego-driven way of leading. Problem-led leadership is about taking on huge challenges in the world. And so people bring their expertise in as necessary because this is important work to do. Leadership skills are teachable. I'm convinced that you can train the techniques and you can train the mindset. Let's talk for a second about the elements of successful leadership. If you don't have influence, there's still ways of persuading people. You have to be able to navigate the three lenses on leading change. You need to understand who you are and what you do and do not bring to the table because as a leader, what you want to do is build a team that complements the skills that you have. Leaders are not in the boardrooms, but leaders are in the field bringing that change and making it viable and meaningful. Engineering leadership today is probably more than any time in our history what companies need. And every human being, in my view, is designed to be a leader. We need to train to unleash and channel that.